Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have some very special guests. <laughs> we have Max. We're actually very special, but, but this, is, this one. This is the spotlight. This is the spotlight. So this is Alex. Um, if you are following Alex already, then please head over to her TikTok and Instagram right now if you didn't hear else. My TikTok is Alexander Seafoam. And then my Instagram is FitByAlex. So Alex is our new We Glow trainer as well. So um, yeah, and she is honestly an inspiration. It's actually a very cute story how we met. But I feel like maybe we should do that in another video. Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be yeah, cute. Because sure. it's very 360 goosebumps, like it's incredible actually. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the last night we did so Alex being has she's inspired me already, so I'm sure she'll sure. do the same to you guys. Okay, so now that we're really hungry, so let's eat. So on Instagram, um, questions to ask us on Instagram, both my page and Alex's page. Yeah. And so we're gonna answer them, and we're gonna we're gonna do a what is it called? A mug bag. Right. A mug bag. A mug bag. Can people right. correct me? Mug bag. Mug bag. Mug bag. Mug bag. Bang. 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 Workout slash sex life balance. Does sex affect energy level? Whoa, so strong. <laughs> that I'm <back> to face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your question, you answer. Well, for you. Oh, with my coffee? No, everyone. Oh, your kids, we're, we're oldies now. Um, yeah, we're oldies. <laughs> we're but no, I think actually working out is an energy booster. Definitely. You know, it makes you feel good in all aspects of life. Oh, That's I think great. I read that question back. Mm -hmm. PC question. I yeah. think it's meant to do the other one, but... I think it's meant to increase your libido, exercising, mm -hmm. being fit and healthy. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Well, yeah, because this can go for guys and girls. Advice for when you have a bad body image, days, or body dysmorphia. That's a really common one, I feel like. Um, advice? Yeah, advice on your bad days. When you're really not feeling it well. I think it's like, you just have to, how I see it and how I feel, is that you just have to like be. That sounds yeah. weird. Well, you just have to understand that it's not because your body has changed or anything the way you look has changed. It's your mind perceiving it that way. And it's only a temporary thing. So if you know it's a temporary thing and you realise that you're just having an off day and your body looks exactly the same as it did yesterday or the day before, you realise the next day will be better than the day before. Yeah, okay. Wait, you then. What's your motto? Uh, just keep moving. I don't actually have an auto. I'm very like easy breezy. Clever What's your mom? Yeah, what's your mom say? No. <laughs> Not that one. Mine would be I think I've always thought about just like staying true to yourself. Um, and I kinda went along with the thing that I posted to on TikTok, which was mm. gonna be a lot of work. But I don't know, I feel like there's some things that make you unique and a lot of times people try to um, shame you for that and we get so easily swayed into like being, I don't know, like the rest of the crowd and so I think I've always taken pride in like the things that make me an individual and in the long run it really does like mm. pay off as a result. So stay true to yourself for sure. So that's your motto, just stay true to yourself. Yeah. Like it. How do you drink? Um, I used to when I was out of the probably quite a lot. Definitely was in that like get very very drunk, and then now I can't. I can not really handle it. Well, like sometimes I will have like a mad one. Um, I have one very very like, occasionally. And I'm very occasionally because it's obviously like with work you've got to get up and like turn up for yourself. So it's just not worth the like aftermath. But I do love a lot a, a lovely glass of red wine. That's just my answer. Well, I hate that you went first because now it seems like oh. I'm kind of copying you. I don't drink often, but I do love a glass of red wine at dinner or just hanging out at home <laughs> sometimes. 
but I feel Still like... Even that's occasional. Yeah, it's definitely occasional. I just don't like the way it makes me feel, and I... Like, I've had those great, fun times, but I think when you have, like, a really good group of people, like, that's when I will drink more, but to just go out on a Friday, Saturday, downtown, no way. Not, I, he, he's the one that gets me. These two, you know, Yeah. He can... Over here. Like total opposites, actually, in that sense. Okay, training your period. To be honest with you, if you feel like it, yes. If you don't, no. This is an interesting one, isn't it? Supposedly, well, in brief, supposedly you should train in a particular way, especially for women. For men, no, it doesn't matter because I'm almost changing things every single day. But you're almost afraid once a month. You need to train basically a certain way for, you, for where you are in your cycle during the month. A particular type of training will suit your hormones better. Mm. It makes sense because of what we like crave and what we eat at that time, but he does not understand cravings at all. I certainly do. I feel like you don't. Um, I think you said to me once. I don't even remember the context, but I was like. I just crave this, like, your, like, your family definitely does it too, even girls do sometimes, you're like, not everybody gets cravings, and I don't know why that just offended me, because I was like, yes, they do, everybody gets cravings, it's not only me, but I know what you're saying, I just, I was sensitive, I was fragile in that moment. Hungry. Fragile. Yeah, I was hungry, I was like, everybody gets cravings, it's not only me, don't make me feel bad. Dark chocolate better than... Others, no, no, milk chocolate. Yes, oh. I actually like white chocolate as well. I do too. Unreal. I milk always ask for that in my Easter basket, not milk chocolate. That was white chocolate. White, yeah, yeah. so good. Yeah. Like the white chocolate coins. I don't know. Not Christmas, oh, yeah. you get the like coins. Dark chocolate is a drink you get that. It what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And better for you, but not very yeah, no, not tasty, good. I see. I, no. It's nice sometimes, you just want like a bit, because mm. you're not going to like. Whoa. What's your guys' guilty pleasure? Ooh. Oh my god. Like, got home, long day, you're like, I just want... Mushy peas. Mushy peas? You're lying. <laughs> no, but I do have, I love mushy peas, it's not my guilty pleasure. Um, if you said that was your guilty pleasure, I'd actually pleasure. be like... No, that could be it. No, it's not. I was just thinking, you said something that like you have often yeah, in my yeah. head, I was like, I always have like mushy peas. Like obviously with my meal. Yeah. But like I'll have like a whole packet of like peas and I'll push them. Oh Grace did too. I don't like that. Um what's yours? Oh my god. I don't know actually. Oh yeah, it's not really a guilty pleasure though. Yeah, we've got a sweet tea. Is that a guilty pleasure though? Yeah. TV show. But we have that almost No, I feel like it'd be like food. Yeah, but isn't yours probably T V or YouTube? Mine probably it's really embarrassing, but it's pleasure because it's embarrassing. What? I'm basically it's like, like just like three hours. On so TikTok, like the kids on TikTok. my life is not filled with any drama, which I'm very happy about, and that's how I like to keep it. But getting involved with someone else's, and I can <laughs> live through them. So like the TikTok drama of like, um, have you heard of BFF podcast? Yeah. Oh my god. Every time I'm like, I'm like, how is it? How does this happen to you guys? Like, I must have been a very different, I don't know, it's just, I'm like, wow, it's very entertaining. Yeah, Josh Richards, Dave Porton, I love him. Yeah, he I is. Love you. He oh my is. God. I am obsessed with him. I love him. He's yeah. hilarious. He is so funny. I feel like I'm the same way. Like, I, I know everything. Like, I'll be like, oh my God, did you see that this person and this person? I'll like, look it up, like, hashtags, just see if there's any updates. Like, yeah. kind of like. That's what I just said. Um, like I tell you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's very it's just entertaining. Mm -hmm. That's probably like that's why I stay up late at night. Just TikTok scrolling. Like I have to get my fix. For sure. Yeah. But that's not my guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure after a long day would probably be ice cream or chips. Depending on the time of month and the mood, for sure. But one of the two. Ice cream would be best. <coughs> Oh, yeah, maybe. I thought that's a 
good one to, yeah, what's your, okay, what's your favorite sweet thing? What was it that you told me the other day? The gelato? It's not my favorite, that's my um, mom's favorite, but my favorite sweet, oh my god, that's so